Sea of Thieves October's monthly update has just released and with it we got a pretty large amount of content for a monthly update, including the new Pirate Emporium with the Crimson Crypt set. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at all the new Pirate Emporium stuff, so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So, in the Emporium this time, as I say, we have the Crimson Crypt stuff, so let's just go ahead and buy all of it. So first we have the Crimson Crypt costume, looks very nice preview. Then we have the Crimson Crypt weapon bundle. We have the new Halloween Hint Jinx emotes. Over in the pet section, we have a brand new collector's pet, the Diabolical Dog. Now, keep in mind, I know skeleton pets are coming back, but I'm not really buying them because we've seen them before. And so we have the Crimson Crypt ship bundle and the Crimson Crypt collector's ship bundle bits, which they look really, really nice. Next up, we have the Crimson Crypt tankard. And also the Soft Flame paint bundle, again, Halloween exclusive, so I won't be buying that because we've seen it before. And then last but not least, we have a seriously spooked free emote bundle, which make sure to pick up because they are really nice and they do become exclusive because obviously they'll never come back in rotation because they are limited time. Right, so let's just get straight into looking at all the beautiful new ship sets. So starting off with the new Crimson Crypt set, this is the non-collector stuff. This looks really nice in my opinion, and there's quite a lot of detail on the sales for it being non-collectors. So I think it's really nice. It's quite black and quite dark, which is good for... It's quite a tactical ship, as some might say. And then the figurehead, again, it can be actually quite hard to see for some, especially if you've got sunlight going on your monitor. But you can see here it is in the shape of a bat with its wings closed. And then moving on to the collector ship set part and the rest of the ship, you can see the collector sails, they're pretty much the same design but they have red in it and I'll explain what the sort of design slash animation of that is in a second because you may think that, you know, there's no glowy bits on it, which you would be correct. Um, and the bat now, the bat on the front with its wings open, this just looks absolutely spectacular, you've got the particles at the bottom of it sort of being in the ship, like flying the ship forward in a way. And then just the bat animation in general, because you've got the colors, the nice purple and red really work with the glowing red eyes. Overall, I think that's one of the best figureheads in the game, in my opinion, just because of how detailed it is and just how the whole design of it. In fact, probably the animations are even better than this one, say the Black Pearl animations or something. So moving on to the rest of the ship, we have the cannons. Now, do these cannons look really nice? They do. Because they're also on this, like, wheel system, like actual cannons would. They're not too bulky, so they're good for aiming with. And let's take a look at the cannon flare, which I'm assuming will just be equally as beautiful as the rest of the ship set. Okay, yeah, quite short, but quite fast. And it is really nice, though, because you've got the bats that do stay there. But the actual red flare of it doesn't stay for too long, which is quite nice if you want a nice cannon flare, but also a good PvP advantage in combat. Now, moving on to the capstan. The capstan, in my opinion, is really, really nice. Now, as I raise it, you'll start to see it's almost like a church spy going up. It's really, really nice. You've also got another design element on it, as in the middle. You can see there's four little pillars of, that do glow in the middle at night. So overall, really, really nice. And the dropping animation, I'm assuming, will be the same as ever. Yep, but it is quite nice. It's almost like the church spire is sinking into the ground. Do like that capstan a lot, it's quite interesting. And one thing to note with the ship set is it doesn't change the whole color, unfortunately, but I didn't really expect that. Now onto the wheel. This wheel does have like the back glow and I think it's really, really trippy. Just if you, especially if you use a spyglass and you look into it, it's, it's quite weird in a way. I really, really do like it. And also the bit in the middle is quite short when you use the wheel. But as you can see here with the spyglass looking into it, it's it's quite a bit, bit weird. Is that just me? I, I don't know. But anyway, as I say, the wheel's really nice. Now moving on to what does the collector ship set look at night? Well, this is what the effect is. At night, the red in the sails disappear. You'll see it slowly fade out over the course of the evening. And then you'll also see it slowly fade in the morning. Now, I did try and record it, but it is quite hard to spot. It's one of those things where it's like it's there and then it's not. But moving on to the collector's figurehead, you have the bat. Now the bat, oh, it looks so good. The wings glowing, the ears glowing, and the eyes glowing. And you can still see the effect at the bottom really, really, really nice. Now, just a quick side note, there is no glowing bits on the non-collector ship set, so I won't be showing it at night because it is just sort of this dark set. 
And the only other part of the ship set apart from the really minor details in the capstan that glows is the wheel and it has the same effect of the sails, it fades in and out as the night progresses, so I assume the capstan does the same. However, you can still see a bit faint bit of red with the wheel, but I just think this is a really nice touch, it's not too... It's, it doesn't it doesn't glow at night for some people, which they like, but it does have that glow as in fading in and out. So it's really, really nice, complicated effect, but amazing work. Next up, we have the Diabolical Dog. Now, this dog, it's a Whippet, so normally I don't really like it, but considering it's a collector's one and just the design of it, it looks really nice. Almost like a werewolf, but smaller. It's got glowing red eyes, and it's also got quite taller ears, and it just looks really nice. And what I do like about it, it, it it's good for those pirates who want that evil persona. It can be a good sidekick for those. So overall, really nice addition, even though it is a Whippet, as I say, which some people may like them. Personally, I don't, and I don't think they're the most popular in the Emporium, but they do look really, really nice, particularly this one with the red eyes, as I say. Up next, we have the new emotes that they added. So, first, we've got this free one, spooktacularly spooked. I think this is really nice, it's nice and scary. We haven't really got too many Halloween emotes that are proper Halloween style in, so it's nice to see quite a classic one. Moving on to the paid emotes, you have Grizzly Growl. Now, this one's also most like a wolf growling at people. Not sure if this is ever going to be used apart from maybe in machinima movies, but we'll see. Now we have the boo. I really like this one. You can try and scare your crewmates. If it had a sound effect, I guess you can scream down the mic or something. Next up, we have Skeleton Shuffle. Now this, this is just, just amazing. C can we get some music in here? But anyway, overall, really, really nice emote. Now, moving on to the final emote in this bundle, Coffin Rakai. Now, this one has a sound effect. As you probably just heard. And it is really, really trippy. Just, it, it would be really impossible to do this in real life with physics. Right now, moving on to the costume. Now, the costume does actually look really nice. In fact, it's probably one of the best parts about this Pirate Emporium update, in my opinion. Especially the built-in emote. So, let's take a look. So we'll use the built-in emote just to showcase it as well, and the built-in emote is called Summon Bats. Now, the, the emote, as you can see, summons bats, and it is really, really awesome. Probably one of the best emotes in-game just because of that. Now, the actual costume itself, I think, looks nice. It's almost like a witch doctor nose slash mask. You've got a hat, quite concealed. It does change your skin to purple, as you can see with the hands and feet. And then just the overall level of detail that went into making the costume, in my opinion, does look really, really nice and is really, really high. So overall, great addition with the costume. Moving on to the weapons, first up we have the sword. Now the sword is actually really clean, so I do like it. And it's got a nice glow effect for it at night. Now, moving on to the blunderbuss. The blunderbuss is so incredibly bulky, so I don't like it, but the inside is pure neon red, and it's one of the few blunderbusses if you zoom in while moaning, you can actually see the inside of, which I think is really, really nice for some reason. But uh, yeah, the blunderbuss itself is just, it's bulky, and I, I don't know, it's not for me. But and then moving on to the pistol and the sniper. Now the pistol and the sniper uh, are actually quite clean compared to Bonderbuster. So the pistol, here it is, it's got a little floof bit at the bottom, uh, being the trigger. And then as you can see here, it's quite good for aiming with and doing the emote. It's, it's solid, and again you can see the inside of it, and it's pure neon red, again which I really like. Just the whole colour theme of this whole Pyre Emporium is nice. Now, the Eye of Reach, this is really special because it taints whatever you're looking at red in it, which, all right, might be a competitive disadvantage, but it's really clean, like, really clean, and it just changes it. It's really nice because the barrel's red, and so it changes it red, and again, you can see inside it. So, overall, really like that. I think that's a little nice touch, and it's the little details about these updates that matter because there's not much in them. So, when they do add little tiny things like this, they are really, really nice. So then, moving on to the final part of the Crimson Crypt set, we have the Crimson Crypt Tankard. Now, the Tankard, I personally really like, because it, it, again, has that neon red, and when you drink inside, you can see the liquid lined in the red inside. It's almost like a goblet, which I really, really, really like. But that is it for the Crimson Crypt set.
Unfortunately, that is all I've got time for for this video, but before I do go, remember that The Legend of the Pumpkin King, this secret project, this machinima movie, will be premiering soon. I'm going to have a trailer out very, very soon, so please subscribe for that, and it's going to be really, really awesome. The team working on it are just really passionate about it, and it's going to be amazing. But as I say, that is all I've got time for, so thank you guys so much for here. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, and if you're in here, why not consider subscribing? I do all sorts of thieves stuff, gameplay, stand racks, and all that good stuff, and very soon a new type of content so stay tuned for that but apart from that thanks for watching and i'll see you later